What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna be playing Life is Strange Before the Storm. This is from Life is Strange 1, but it's before the storm, before the storm, yeah. So there's three episodes here and it's about Chloe. I hope you like, subscribe and enjoy and we're gonna start episode one, Awake. Illuminati confirmed. Damn. Some weird shit already. Life is Strange Before the Storm is a story-based game that features player choices. The consequences of your actions and decisions will impact the world around you. Choose wisely. Damn, we're already choosing wisely. Smoke cigarettes, cancer in the chest. She look like she drinking a cigarette, bro. Yo, what are you doing? Get out the way, bitch. Bro, that was so stupid, bro. That'll be the stupidest thing I've seen in a minute, bro. Saw that I'm so I cool. can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. Fuck yes. I'm so Mom cool. Mom would kill me you if saw she knew me? I was out here. I jump off a train track. Just in time. <clears throat> That's really stupid, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I guess we like rock. Fence. Jump it. What the fuck? Don't do that, bro. Holy shit. This place is awesome. If I'm gonna get inside, I'll have to get through that door. Okay. Machinery. How is this? That saw looks ancient. I wonder how long ago the mill actually closed. It's an old lumber car. Guess it's been years since anyone's actually worked here. Hey, gang. Help you, miss. You gotta let me in. Check it. I'm totally legit. It's not a bad fake, kid. But you're in over your head here. Do yourself a favor and scram. Down. Can't let him push me around. Should I go back and stand up to him? Or can something around here help me? Nothing says badass like a nice floral print. I think we should just look around to be honest. I don't think we can actually step up. Mom would totally flip her shit if she knew I hiked for an hour just to see a show. This place is sketchy as hell. An old abandoned building in the middle of nowhere, miles from home. <laughs> home. Right. Now I remember why I'm here. Any place is better than home. Guess. Guess fire safety isn't exactly high on the agenda here. Those guys need to get a room. <laughs> what the hell? Or not? Damn. Mind your own business. Well, Smith, type shit right here, bro. I understand. I understand really, and, and, and it won't ever. This RV's just begging for a little street art. But if I do it here, someone will see me. I'd join a motorcycle gang if I had any friends. Okay, we looked around here and I don't 
I don't seem to find anything. Convince the biker. Nothing says badass like a nice floral print. Oh, no. God, again? What do you want, kid? Is that your bike over there? Yup. It's, uh, pretty cool. Gee, thanks. Is that all? This is the old mill, right? I heard Firewalk is playing here tonight. They're awesome. Nope. Are you kidding? You should probably just go. He started a back talk challenge. I have to convince this doorstop that I'm not giving up until he lets me inside. You use arguments and insults to get someone to do what you want. Don't you remember what it's like to be a teenager? I just want to see the band. I thought we went over this. Isn't it past your bedtime? What I do here? To succeed, pay attention to what your opponent says. Isn't it past yours? <laughs> Real cute. But I still don't know you. Kittens riding tiny mopeds are cute. I'm more like Red Sonia riding a panzer tank. <laughs> okay, kid. I get it. Tough. Maybe I am a kid, because this place looks like a damn playground to me. A girl like you? I can't protect you in there. A girl like you with pretty, pretty flowers on her bicycle shouldn't lecture me on what I can do. That is a traditional Samoan... <laughs> Look, my boss decides who gets in, all right? Oh, shit. Is your boss your mom? Follow up. Do you live in your boss's basement? You're... You're not accepting no for an answer, aren't you? Nope. <laughs> and you really think you can take me? Yep. What if I had a knife? No problem. A gun? Don't care. What if I had... You could have a flamethrower, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash in there, and I'd still kick your ass. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> You're all right, kid. Go on in. Okay. Okay, he, he, I think he thought I was cool or something. We in, boys and girls. This is intense. <laughs> Holy shit! Ophelia, come. You dog. It's a reindeer. Screen, don't touch my soul with dirty hands. What the fuck? Pastime beer. Let's get ourselves a couple beers here. Just follow the lights and the sound. Can't wait to get in there and thrash. Gang, gang, gang. A couple beers here and there. Drink more, feel less. Yes, please. Push through. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, fuck. Hey, you okay? I'm fine. Relax. You bumped into me, remember? Yep, my bad. 
dude. You don't know who I am, do you? Nope. Don't care, either. Hey, let me know how that works out for you, bitch. All right. Mosh pit is a no-go. Fine. You go upstairs, then. Maybe I can get a better view of the action from up above. Is that Frank? You bought pot for me every month for a year. Look at that get up. <laughs> Studs. You're trying too hard. What are you even doing here? I'm trying to see this damn band. But this place is crazy packed. Hard to get to the stage. How'd you even hear about this little shindig? Ha, the internet. How else? Seriously? Fucking kids. Did you see that guy I ran into? Acted like I was supposed to know who the hell he was. Ah, uh, yeah. I know him. He works for Damon. Damon who? This is his place. He's a friend of mine. Where do those stairs go? Uh, up. Real helpful, Frank. I mean... Will I get a better view of the band up there? How the fuck should I know? Floor above's rotted all to hell, okay? No one goes up there. Fine. But what about some weed, bro? But I, I'll I just... I don't really want that right now. Whatever. Why this shit break?
What the fuck is wrong with I'm, I'm not sure if y'all can hear me when it's loud like that. Daily rituals are. This is bullshit. Hey Max. Hey Dad. Another day in paradise. Right? It'd be like that sometimes. Eggs and bakey. What the? F okay. Last night. Seeing fire <laughs> That sounds funny. The skeevy assholes. That girl. Was that really Rachel Amber? It's kind of bad. I smell like cigarettes and beer. Better change clothes. Oh, we got a skateboard. Nice. Raven. Mm. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a I I wear it. Terrible news, my fellow. I really should get going. Report cards. Let me see how bad my grades are. I think we should just make it into a bar and throw it in trash. Yeah, no one needs to see that. Thank you. Damn, gangster. That's that's gangster. Shit. Where's my phone? God, it's not here. How drunk was I last night? You only drank one beer. Half a beer. I better try calling my phone with moms. Okay. Mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. Mom's old engagement ring. Supposed to be mine, if I'm ever stupid enough to get married. Can't believe I used to sneak in there for her makeup. Where her phone? Oh. What is this, iPhone 6? How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating?
She's calling her own phone. Why the hell she has that phone close to her ears? <laughs> Sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. In the bathroom? There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. Just probably just that one. No offense. Will you be coming home at some point tonight, Chloe? Will you be home by your funeral? There will be consequences, and then this dude and it says, "Dude, that's the third time I already know everything." Nope, I don't know what that is. Chloe, breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think I saw Mom's purse in her room. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, Louis Vuitton. Can you grab my cell phone too? No more dawdling. I need to talk to you. Yeah. That really makes me want to hurry. Hmm. <laughs> Place still Coming, looks the same. Mom. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. You might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come. Waffles, 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 waffles. Now I'm ready for breakfast. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what mom wants before she strokes out. She's still looking mad thick. Okay, what are we talking about? Hey mom, you wanted to talk? Chloe, what happened to you? It's no big deal. I walked into a door. Got clapped. to be walking into a lot of doors lately. Bad eyesight. When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. Um. Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? David, school. Okay, it's Chris David. You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Ah, right. I would have got slapped by my mama. My favorite. I said something like that. To learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame too. I wish you Ooh. wouldn't joke like that. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah. I'll just grab something later. What? Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you going to eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? What the fuck is a curfew? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you? Saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? Damn. Yeah. Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're mm. happy doing mm -hmm. what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is.
Maybe David should start paying rent. He spends the night often enough. How would you know? You're never here yourself. David thinks you need discipline. That's David facts. should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. That's facts. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. <laughs> you will be nice. You will be respectful. And you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying. I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Um, uh, being understanding, Mom, definitely. I know you're dealing with a lot. Thank you. I understand you don't need me as much anymore. But I need you. I do still need you. You're my mom. I'm proud of you for being so self-sufficient. But the whole world's not out to get you. Tell that to the world. You're impossible. But I love you. I love you too. Mm-hmm. Okay, David's waiting. You'll need to bring him his keys from the ashtray. Try not to kill each other. Got it. Unless he tries to give me advice. Or looks at me funny. Chloe. Or looks at me at all. Chloe. Mom. Have a good day. You too. I mean, okay, that's a good mom. His keys is about the most humiliating thing mom could ask me to do. Are we eating breakfast? Hold on, where are we getting the keys from? Crap. I forgot David's keys. That's probably worth at least 10 push ups. <laughs> now, for real talk, are we eating breakfast? Mad hungry, dog. Button. This is David's keys. Okay, where's David's key at, bro? We're already supporting one. Thanks. I almost wish I could slip mom cash. If I had any cash to slip. Hold up. Where's the keys again? Come on, sweetheart. I'm sure David's waiting for his keys. I made that ashtray for mom's keys only. Maybe upstairs? No, it's not upstairs. Ashtray, what the fuck? I'm sorry if I'm cussing a lot, but what is a ashtray? Is this an ashtray? Guess David likes pot roast. Guess we're all about what David wants. I don't think a cereal box. What about this? Dad's old swear jar. We spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. Snow shank. Oh, this is an ashtray there right they here. They are. Isn't that where you put your cigarettes? Let's get these to David so he can drive away. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. I'd better get going. Ashtray, it sounds like where you put your cigarette ashes. There's a tray where you put ashes. I don't know. What a piece of crap. The car, too. The car looks nice. What are you talking about? Why do you women always take forever to get ready? 
We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. <laughs> Repeatedly. <laughs> That's Look, funny. Is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I got into my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Damn, take a chill. Bit pill. Pill chill. Your insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites. Did you not the hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. Your what? What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket. What's David doing? Leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? Fifty fifty chance I smash him in the face with this. Sixty forty. Maybe ninety ten. If it's in my garage, it gets my special treatment. What message does David really need to hear? Intruder? Fuck, I ain't wanted bu bugs. Got it. No, why would I? That's even worse. What kind of graffiti is that? I thought you was gonna do something crazy. That, that that was crazy. Muscle car. You just calling this muscle car garbage, bro? Come on. Here you just suck it. More hustle wouldn't have killed you. <sighs> See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Deposit. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. David has a nice car. Wonder why we didn't see it. Fine, whatever. <laughs> Why is she so like this, bro? David is not even doing anything wrong. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> I'm glad he didn't see the message. The car's really nice. Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. Please. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck. Damn. We don't have to like each other. But you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Mm-hmm. Joyce, your mother, she's hurting, Chloe. Hurting for you. You've had it rough, no doubt about it. But all this staying out late, ignoring her command, drinking, drug use, it's making everything harder for her. You need to shape up, get your act together. And put someone else first for a damn change. That's facts. 
Am I making myself clear? Is it crazy if part of what David's saying makes sense to me? Got it. Got it. Thanks. We should really get going. Glad we understand each other. You're saying it's facts. Facts after facts. Sometimes you gotta put someone else before yourself. Maybe I do that a lot. I do that all the time. Country music. Dad loved this song. Is that how he died? Damn. It's a tragedy. That's one of the worst ways to die. Hey. The hell? Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young lady. I can see you rolling your eyes. Uh, <laughs> hello? I was actually saying I see everything. I'll warn everything. Watch the paint. Okay, I'm playing. <laughs> I thought he was going to say that. <laughs> hello, Black Hell. Like well, Academy. Good luck, seniors. Seniors, seniors, yeah, yeah, seniors. It's definitely seniors. I know it's seniors. What am I? Something's wrong with me. Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. Hmm. Guess it's true then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. Who exactly is talking shit about me? You know, haters on social media. Great. I wish I could tell everyone to just get a life. So... How about The Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but... I was thinking... Do you want to go together tomorrow? Hell no. Maybe. I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to. But sitting in the back row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck. Right? That's... Totally what I was thinking. All right. See you in camp. Yeah, for sure. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. Get DVDs from Steph. Victoria looking bad, bro. 
face. It's Chloe. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. You don't say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about that. What, with Rachel Amber? Am I right? Wait, what about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. <laughs> Murder a man. Victoria. It's a photo. Big deal. But it's on Facebook. I, I mean, that basically means you and Rachel are like BFFs. We're really not. It's on Facebook. So Come on, what's man. What's she into? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. <laughs> you know? Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. Oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're being you. Oh. Hmm. Why would Rachel Amber ever hang out with Carrie Price? It's Chloe. <laughs> okay. She kind of. Uh, she's way better than. Than um the the the. the mm. What the fuck? Life is strange one, definitely. Oh, the new sketchers that came out last week. Oh what shit. What have you got here? Twitch. Don't call me that. True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back. I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Damn. I personally wouldn't take that disrespect. Want to take this elsewhere, guys? The mute speaks? Bitch, what? Whoa, whoa. I should slap your ass for that. Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. Ooh. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Ooh. Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! The fuck you want me to do? Stay out. Meh. I have to step in. The only in. way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? You heard me. Idiot. You're not used to a word that big, are you? Don't be scared. Ooh. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? Congrats. You've actually got me feeling sorry for Arcadia Bay's most spoiled brat. That's how much of an asshole you're being right now. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. When Nathan goes crying to Lord Prescott, everybody here will be stuck doing sensitivity seminars all week. You want a piece of this? You mean your budding bromance with Nathan? You're clearly into him. Just pull his hair already. Oh. <laughs> you think this is funny? <laughs> yeah. You think I'm joking here? Think? 
That's a fancy word for you, Drew. Careful with it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> did you just laugh? Woo! I did. Chloe did you just, just laugh? Shut the fuck up, fresh meat. Fresh. Shut the fuck up. Oh. Go to Samantha. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help? From you? You're welcome. Are you alright? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip. Why he walk like that? Let me go on Glad we talked. Me too. I know you're doing your best. Love you. No cap. I love you back. Love you too. Oh, this is another test text message from Steph. Hey, I'm at the picnic tables with Mikey. Okay. Damn, I'll kind of put this in 2D a little high, I think. Where's the picnic? You know where the picnic's at? Actually, never mind. Need my DVD from Steph. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. Oh, she's right here. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. <laughs> Got my DVD? One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream mm. life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? I don't know what you heard but Rachel and I barely know each other. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join her game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? Uh, let me see what this shit oh, about. What the hell? Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> nice. I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. I know. I'm good. All right. Let's get started. You were both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elamon, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avernon. Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh, Calamastia. Super into it. Not bad. <laughs> the two... <laughs> Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, 
I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscarred. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? I once stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him, too. True story. Holy you shit. You stand at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raider's training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgeron, the unscarred. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Where do you wish to go? Um Okay, let's go to training. That sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. So what do we do? I cast Urgle's acid blast. Um overkill? Bam. You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Holy shit. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. I do a pommel strike. I strike his pommel hard. <laughs> um, what did I say? A pommel is the end of a sword handle. Pommel strike is where you hit the guy with it. Ah, damn it. Okay, I do that. Except you're not wielding a sword, you're wielding an axe. Oh, damn. This sucks. It's all right. Try using your- You've delayed too long. The orc swings his war hammer at your head, barely missing. Your move. I knee him. Right in the orc balls. Success. The orc clutches his groin, never to father children again. Ouch. Your turn again, Chloe. Okay, let's end this. Fatal cleave. Get you to swing your great axe down with your class. both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. <laughs> Fuck yeah! I'm awesome at this game. It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely any loot survived. Dang. My character raises her axe. You'll pay for ruining all that loot, Elamon. By my honor, I apologize. Here, take this potion as a gift. Thanks, dude. What's next? Oh, I gotta leave yeah, the game. I'm done here. Peace. Really? We were just getting to the good stuff. If you go now, you can't rejoin later. Sorry. I gotta go do something that's not this. Oh. All right. The game was interesting and all, but yeah, I, I didn't want to bore y'all. DVD check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm gonna end it here. This is a good stoppage before we go to Hamish class. I hope you like, subscribe, and enjoy. And I see y'all in the next one. Peace.